सफेद पुरोजे देवी पांच जी सेता चेत गोविंद आराधी है गोविंद अन्नदा नेम फॉर वाइफ जी गो मींस तर्ती गो मींस अर्थ वेद वेद कम्स फ्रॉम द वर्ड वेद वेद मीनिंग सी वेद इवन दो हैज मेनी अदर ट्रांसलेशंस पर गुरसिक करे इन दिस और वी हैव इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट इट मींस सी दैट चेत गोविंद आराधी है गुरसिक प्यारो पहला तो ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਬਰੀ ਨਿਮਰਤਾ ਦੇ ਸਹਿਤ ਨਾਲ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਰਮ ਇਹ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਨੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਾਂ ਜੁੜਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਇਹ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਇਹ ਕਿਤੇ ਹਾਲ ਸਮੇਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਰਮ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਬਾਪ ਤੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਨਾ ਕੰਧ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਬੀਬੀਆਂ ਬੈਠੀਆਂ ਕੰਧ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਆ ये जरा समा मिले ना बच्चे आ वास्ते दिस टाइम हैज बीन ब्लेस्ड नाउ फॉर आवर चिल्ड्रन टू बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग जे ता गुरसिख प्यारे गुरु दे चरणा विच बह के गन्ना कर लिया ने तो फिर निम्रता दे सहत नाल बेनती है अपने चरणा विच जा ता थल्ले जा के लंगर मोल विच गन्ना कर लिया जे इथे बैठा हो ना आपा कुछ ना कुछ गुरु गुरु दे कोई गल गुरु दे वचन आपा यतन करिए जे आपा परले बन के जा सकिए आज तो सो लेट्स लीज मेक एन एफर्ट दैट वी कैन ट्राई एंड टेक समथिंग फ्रॉम द गुरु अवे टुडे सो फॉर एवरीवन टू बी एबल टू फोकस द टुडे बिकॉज़ इज द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर अस टू ऑल टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज़ वी आर टॉकिंग इन अ लैंग्वेज दैट वी कैन मोस्ट ऑफ अस हियर दैट कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड इट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट गुरु नानक देव जी पाल छ जी देव गुरु नानक देव जी पाल छ जी ट्रैवल्ड ऑल ओवर where the gunanik dev ji paach ki travel they spoke that local language first of all how amazing it is that gunanik dev ji paach ji knew how to knew so many languages there's approximately they say there's about 38 languages within guru granth sahib ji paach ji bani where the gunanik dev ji paach ji went they spoke that local language and some people say today that within the stages within the stages of gurdwara the only punjabi should be spoken but gursik payo how about when we read jaap sahib in the morning jaap sahib is made predominantly of four languages and one of them being arabic one of them being persian and then there's sanskrit and there is hindi and there is very less punjabi in jaap sahib so if we say that only punjabi should be spoken on the guru stage gursik payo yes ha zarur yatn sabna ne karna ke aap gurmukhi sikhni jaye पर जे आप ये कहिए कि इंग्लिश बोलनी नहीं चाहिए ये भी नहीं गल सही करके गुरसिख पैरो पहला जे किसी को कुछ गल की समझ आऊगी उस से राही फेर व्हेन समबडी अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग फर्स्ट देन यू हैव दैट हियरिंग देन यू हैव दैट थर्स्ट टू गन अंडरस्टैंड एंड डोंट लर्न गुरमुखी एज़ वेल बट फर्स्ट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द लैंग्वेज दैट दे नो फर्स्ट सो गुरसिख पैरो कमिंग बैक चेत गोविंद आराध्य है आराध्य मींस टू इंश्राइन when you take something inside of you that jet within this month of jet jet govind aradhya is doing the translation of the word govind go means the earth means the earth bend means sea the primal sea which everything stem from the primal sea is vaiguji is a kaal for karam that primal sea vaiguji that everything came from this whole creation even us that is what govind means govind referring to vaiguji that govind aradhya enshrine that vaiguji inside of us within this month and how are we going to do that then sachche paath ji tell us that in second pankti ke chet govind aradhya hove anand ka na and if we do that ji aap ye karange fir anand ka na ka na means immense a lot very deep something bahut jyada that's what ka na means anand anand means bliss our life will be full of bliss and what is the difference between happiness and bliss you know the fark ki aap samajh because there's where happiness and then there's bliss paap ko se pyaro bliss means a happiness that never comes to an end forever happiness because there's many times in our life that we must have experienced happiness in our lives but we all know as well that happiness doesn't always remain that happiness one day comes to an end as well ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਸਥਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਾਣ ਬਾਣੀ ਤੇ ਸਹੀ ਜੋ ਜਾਤ ਇਸ ਭਾਣਾ ਤਾਂ ਜੰਮਿਆ ਪਰਵਾਰ ਭਲਾ ਪਾਇਆ ਲਿਵ ਚੁਟਕੀ ਲੱਗੀ ਤਿਸਨਾ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰੋ 
ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਪਾਚੀ ਸਹੀ ਚਰਸ ਜਾਤ ਇਸ ਪਾਣਾ ਵੜੇ ਉਸ ਗੱਲ ਸਵੇਉ ਜਾਤ ਇਸ ਪਾਣਾ ਤਾਂ ਜੰਮਿਆ ਦੇ ਦਾ ਛਾਉ ਉਸ ਦੋ ਵੇਂ ਦਾ ਛਾਉ ਇਸ ਦੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਇਸ ਬਾਈ ਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਸਵੇਉ ਜਾਤ ਇਸ ਪਾਣਾ ਤਾਂ ਜੰਮਿਆ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਭਲਾ ਪਾਇਆ ਦੇ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਛਾਉ ਇਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਉਹ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਮਨਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਭਲਾ ਮਨਾਇਆ ਦੇ ਵੈਰੀ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਛਾਉ ਬਟ ਦੈਨ ਸਿਸਟਰ ਪਾਚ ਸਹੀ ਦੈਨ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਦੈਨ ਲਿਵ ਇਟ ਚੋਟ ਕੀ ਲਗੀ ਤ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਲਿਵ ਚੋਟ ਕੀ ਵੈਨ ਦਾ ਤ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨਾ ਕਮਸ when those desires come within those people and then that lives in that connection with why did he brace there's that happiness sometimes when the child is born but go see pero then there's that same child the expectations we got from that child if that child as that child grows up that same child that we say is our life that same child that we say is is the reason of our life's happiness we say that many times apa kehida hai na ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਮੇਰੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਆ ਪਰ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰੋ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਉਹੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਸਾਡੇ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਅੰਦਰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਬੱਚਾ ਉਹੀ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਆਖਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਬੱਚਾ ਮੇਰੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਆ ਦਿਸ ਥਾਉਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਪਰ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਪਿਆਰੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਬੱਚਾ ਇਸ ਸੰਸਾਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਦਾ ਥਾਉਸ ਇਜ਼ ਬੋਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਫੁੱਲ ਆਫ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਪਰ ਸਮਾਂ ਆਉਣ ਤੇ but when a time comes in life to sick pyaro sometimes the expectation we have for that child to be in a certain way if that child is a lift to that certain expectation that same happiness doesn't stay there anymore and now emotion comes right down and changes into sadness there's a two emotions there that same person just brought us two emotions but such a part is saying ke govin govin no arad ke but if we try why would you within our heart ਉਹ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਆਨੰਦ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੋਗਾ ਉਹ ਗੈਟ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਫਰਵਰ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਦੈਟ ਨੇਵਰ ਲੀਵਸ ਅਸ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਕਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਦ ਅਦਰ ਡੇ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਸਾਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਠ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੋਂ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਰੇ ਮਨ ਐਸੀ ਹਾਸੋ ਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਕਰ ਜੈਸੀ ਮਛਲੀ ਨੀਰ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਲਵ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਲਰਨ ਟੂ ਲਵ ਵਾਈ ਇਟ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵੇ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਦਾ ਫਿਸ਼ ਲਵ ਦਾ ਵਾਟਰ ਰੇ ਮਨ ਐਸੀ ਹਾਸੋ ਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਕਰ ਜੈਸੀ ਮਛਲੀ ਨੀਰ why why you like that fish in the water when you love when you love the water just like that fish does the happiness that bliss never comes to an end as the fish goes deeper into that water what happens as the fish is going deeper into the ocean what is happening to that fish jo adak ko teo sok karo man tan saath sharir oda jada machhi da hai na sok satte paacha ko naal de di paacha sri raag de andar kaand de kehne oda sok vadda janda hai jene vi vastu sansar di wale whatever it is that is of this world odi jehdi khushi kat di jandi hai that what we have towards it that anand that we have towards it what we think is anand that happiness that we have towards worldly things it starts to decrease but when we start to fall in love with bhai guruji when we start to learn fall in love with our guru guru granth sahib ji padshah because god par mehsar ek ko jaan no no different think of no difference between guru granth sahib ji padshah ji and of our and of why you think us pyare guru tegh padshah ji padshah ne kehna kita na kehn ke ke sukh dukh jeh par sah nahi lobh moh abhimaan kehnde oh insaan somebody that isn't touched by sukh somebody that isn't touched by dukh sukh dukh jeh par sah nahi lobh moh abhimaan that person that isn't touched by greed what is that person what should we call that person gohanan sundre mana so murat bhagwan can we should think of that person to be the form of god guru tegh pad ji had all of those qualities all of our gurus had those qualities but so that makes guru granth sahib ji pad ji the form of god that mera kar bhai ji that god that is formless that we can't reach out to that we can't understand because why agam agotra tera ant na paaye tu agam ya agam means something the word comes from gamar gamar means to reach to be able to reach out to something gamar bhav oda matlab gamar da arth hai ke is cheez apne hath vich pakad vich aa jave something that we can reach to but why did you agam ne why did you out of our reach out of our reach to what agam agotra agotra comes from the word from our senses why did you wait beyond our senses wait beyond these eyes we want to see why did you 
Now we need to see why we do with our inner eyes. Nanak sari akhriya biyan de jini dasando maa piri. And then such a part of the Akhya can a chair to go with the Arati of Uwe and Anandakana, Santa Janam in a Paye Rasna Nam, Pana. If you want to know how to enshrine Vaikuti within your heart, then Santa Janam made the Paye, then you'll have to go and search for those saints. Those humble saints are Vaikuti, but another way of doing that is this is also the society of saints when we sit in the Gurdwara side like this. Why? How is this the society of saints as well? Because we're talking of our Guru. And when we start to feel connected, this is the way of how to start enshrining why we do within our heart, is coming together like this, sitting in the turn of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Padshah Ji, going through Gurbani, going through history, that is the way forward. So now, coming, coming on to our Visha, coming on to our topic of today, Guru Piyaru, Normally Das does very freestyle Gatha, doesn't actually go through presentations only at universities and schools, but today we're going to actually go through a presentation and just makes it a little bit easier for the children. Something a bit more visual for them to be able to connect, so you can watch the screen as we're going through. First of all, first we're just going to look at the literal translation of these words of Allah and Allah. What these words actually mean, how, do we, how can we break them down? So first of all, if we look, look at the word of Hulla, it can also come from the word of Hulla. Hulla, is a Punjabi word and it could, could be translated to attack, to charge. But at the same time, if we look at the second word, Mohalla, it's got two meanings. One of the meanings that we can find it actually from, it comes from an Arabic word, and that Arabic word translates it to place or battleground. So now it's talking about attacking something and not just attacking anywhere, but having a place to attack, having a battleground where we're going to fight that battle. So far, Musik Piyaro, Hole da at Nikoda attack. And then, so the translation of Hola is to attack. And then Mahatla is the translation to that is place, that battleground. Where we're going to go and attack that place where the attack is going to take place. So this is what it means literally. But another translation for this is also army. A group of people that are organized and come together and work very well together. That's another translation for this. So now we know the literal translation for this. It also then translates together, when we put it together, as mock battles. Battles aren't that actually true. That Guru Gobind Singh Ji used to actually create these battles. So they weren't actually battles taking place, but Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pacha used to do play battles. They used to get two teams together and they used to make them battle with each other. So now we know what this literally means for the And now, where did this come from? Where did this word come from? Hola. It actually originated from where was the idea? Where did the idea come about? What else is celebrated around that time? So day before this, what would everybody else have been celebrating in India that doesn't have a sambandha, that doesn't have a link with the Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pak Chaji? Everybody else during that time would have been celebrating something called Holi. And we're going to look at that why does Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pak Chha, why does our Guru always do this? And you're thinking, do what? Whenever there is a celebration that another faith is celebrating, so now another faith is celebrating, not only the Hindus celebrate this, festival, only these other faiths as well. So why is it whenever there's a celebration of another faith, why is it that in the Guru's house that we also put in our celebration alongside? Sangran kewal guru kar de vich ni banai jandi Sangran gur sikh pyareo Sangran da naam utte hor ja ke vi hor jane vi ja ke sunde ne vedan de vichon naam sunde ne nahi nera Guru sahab ji ne kyon ve baani vichari bara maan di ida karan ki so jado bandi chhodya bandi chhod de den upar when the day of diwali comes we call it bandi chhod why did again guru har gobind sahab ji paach ji have to do this Vasakh bhi pehla to banaya janda sega Vasakh da mahina a lot of people always got together during the time of Vasakhi. 
Vasakhi is a time of harvest. A lot of people came together on that day and always used to celebrate. But Guru Gobind Singh Ji Paatshah ne os den de naal bhi khaafse da jam ka dita. Kyun ida karan kiya? What is the reason for this? It's a very simple reason. No need to get confused. There's no confusion behind this. The reason why whenever there's a day going on in other people's faith, why did our Guru match and give us something to celebrate on the same day? Oda karan ee si ga karke baut jane eho ne jere guru ka adde nal ki samband rakhde ne those people that they get stuck into empty rituals jere pakhanda vich pae jande ne jere apne aap nu sikh kahonde ne par dusreyan de pe ja ke koe utte vich rakhan kahonde ne dusreyan de koe khadbonde ne ta kende ne chal udro ni aaj naam sunya chal ajj mandir vich ja jande ne chal ajj udro vich ja jande ne कोई दिवाली भी मां कोई लक्ष्मी नु भी लक्ष्मी दी उदन उदन नु पूजा करन ला पंदा करके सोचदे चल बेले आ और भी सारे मनावदे फिर ता सतगुरु जी ने पाठने आपा नु उदन बेले नहीं छड्या सच्चे पाठ जी कहते लेट्स बी फ्री ऑन दोस डेज पाठ जी से कि एवरीबॉडी एल्स ऑन दिस डे कहने वो राम नु ता सीता नु याद कर देने जो दिवाली आउंदी आ सारे लक्ष्मी नु पूजदे ने दरवाजे खोल के रख देने के आज साडे घर भी लक्ष्मी आउगी पीपल ऑन दिवाली डे दे लीव दे डोर्स ओपन and then they worship lakshmi the goddess of money of wealth they say so wealth will come into our house they actually leave the doors open on that day some people do such a paacha some people are celebrating holy on that day such a paacha say kende tusi eh ho kende kamma vich fas na jaiyo sikho kende tusi sachet rahe ho tusi bachiyo kende paacha saying i want you to be saved i don't need to drown and start to follow these empty rituals so i'm going to give you a day to celebrate on the same day so that way you can still focus on the guru's body in the baskar and the ac that was the purpose for this that's why guru gave us this and then what was let's but look at behind what other people were doing jere dusre se ke dusre matan de aaj asal vich je din holi manai jandi hai that day that people celebrate holi is the first day basant oh din asal vich je din basant shuru hunda hai basant why is basant basant is for us it's spring Basant is that season of blossom. We got four seasons, Guru Sikhyaayo. Even though we got four seasons, but we'll just go to another slide and we'll come back to this. Even though we got four seasons, so we've got spring, we've got summer, we've got autumn, we've got winter. But in the India, there's actually six seasons. Ote shere taale India de vech. Ite pa me apa. चार रुत्ता नो अपन इतने काके मार देने इतने बढ़िया पानी जाते हैं रुत्ता में तो दिस फोर सीज़न्स या फिर दिस सिक्स सीज़न्स इन इंडिया एंड वन ऑफ़ द सीज़न्स व्हिच इज़ अक्विवेलेंट टू स्प्रिंग ऑफ़ इंडियन बसांत इस दैट टाइम ऑफ़ ब्लॉसम वी जस्ट कम आउट दैट हार्ड विंटर एंड लॉट पीपल हैव हैड हार्ड वि� and everything you see outside is no leaves on the street there's no flowers everything is dull and lot of people even get depressed during that time i know that our people that it's actually It's actually something called sad that people. The word sad it's actually known as something an emotion that people go through during that time of the month during winter times. They go through that emotion, but now this is a totally different type of season where people now the sister part to be saying for us Guru Nanak part chale apan nu dasna kita. Our guru is saying what is true that what is that true season of blossom for us? What is that true season of basant for us? सच्चे पाठ क्या है कि नान के तीना बसंत है जिन कार बसिया कांते सच्चे पाठ जी सही कि स्पॉलो दिस ऑन द स्क्रीन एस वेल पाठ जी सही टुअर्स के लिए नान के तीना बसंत है जिन कार बसिया कांते कि ने जिन आदेश कार जिस कांते का वासा हो गया उन गुरसिक पर एक तार गाजे सच्चे पाठ जी अपन के लिए लेके लेके टाट टाट में हर जू बसे घर that kaat kaat me har ju basse but then over here it say nanak ke tina basante jin kaat basya kaant only those hearts 
who can't tell Kantin's husband our lower wife will be. And Jinnah de Kaar de Kanta da Vasa ho gaya, Kene Ona de Kaar de Kene Basante ya, Kaar da Paam Hirda Roop Kaar. The Kaar de Kaar house is referring to our heart, in whose heart that wife will be comes and sits. Only in those hearts it is true, that true time of Basant, that time of blossom, that time, that season. But then we've got confusion here. On one side of Guru is saying that Vaibhuti exists in each and every heart. On the other side of Guru is saying only in those hearts that Vaibhuti exists. Only in those hearts there is the sun. So now which one's right? Is it that Guru Bhadi is saying two different things? No. A lot of people get confused about this with Guru Bhadi. I've heard people say to me, people say other people, people from other faiths, and some people even from our faith, they will say that aren't following Guru Granth Sahib Ji, that haven't read Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pachi Ji Bani, but they've just said, they say Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pachi Ji Bani contradicts itself. Some people say this. Guru Sikh it's not that Guru Bani contradicts itself, it's that we don't understand it sometimes. Guru Ji speaks to different people at different levels. Just like when we go to school. There's somebody that goes to school and they first and they're in year 7 when they go to secondary school. When you go to secondary school, it starts from year 7. But then there's somebody that then goes to 6th form within that same school. They're about 5-6 years ahead of you. What our Guru, the advice the Guru is going to give that child that is in year 7, for example. So there's some people that say to the son that maybe they've only started this path. They've only come into the Guru's way of life. So the Guru will speak to them at different level and speak to somebody that has been coming and that understands the Guru to a deeper level. They spiritually gained a lot more, they have gone further in the spiritual journey. Guruji will say something else to them, but he won't make sense to that person down there. So we've got to understand what this means over here is that yes, why it is in each and every heart, but not everybody has realized it. Why did he is in every heart, but why did he hasn't been manifest? We haven't manifested why did he? Why did he hasn't come forth? We haven't realized why did he? It's like we've had something. But we forget that thing is in our pocket. But Guru Sikhara over here, this is what it means. Why did he is there? Because Guru tells us why Vajrati is in our heart. But then there are some people, they realize why Vajrati in their heart. For those people that realize and go why Vajrati forth in their hearts, for those it is the sun all the time. For those it is this time of spring all the time when everything is blossoming, when the leaves are now coming out, you can see a bit of greenery, everything is beautiful inside of their own hearts. So it doesn't matter. You can think for yourselves. Spring, this time of blossom, the sun, it's not beautiful for everyone, is it? Some people may not have even noticed the change outside because they've got so many problems within their households. Some people are so lucky. Can you know the Kusik Pero? Pane Sanje Pachari, Apano Akhari, Jira Basan, Tena Basan. It's that time, Jodo Hariyadi, Jodo Avnapati Draktani, Jodo Furmi Ugnapati, Jodo Hariyadi. जो तो राम का आवर दाप पंडाल गुरु सिख प्यारे हो और सुबनास पति ते पर कई जनों इन्हें महसूस के लिए ने देखिया भी नहीं होना है कोई क्यों करके वो अपने कर आने चाहिए दुखी हैं some people are so suffering so much in so much pain just like सच्चे बात है जिन्हें क्या ना क्या क्या ने के कहते ना है तो दुखिया सांप संसार पर गुरु सिख के सारे तकरीबन सारे Dukhiya Sat Sansar. That Pāti is saying that the whole world, Sara, the whole world is in pain. But you know, we don't take this word, Sāp, literally. You know, literally, Nila and Sāp, it doesn't literally mean all. It means majority. It means majority of the world. That the all in it, no manne, so you can get. But there are those as well that have had victory, that have connected to Vaibhuti's name. Those that are connected to their Guru, those that are connected to Vaibhuti, they are Dukhi. Friti ne me kya se ne kori, Frita, mein jane ya, Dukh mujhku, Dukh sabaya jag. Even Friti said once, 
This is Frida Mai Jaane Dukh Mujhko. They said I told you it's just me that was suffering in pain. This is Mai Jaane Dukh Mujhko. Dukh Sabaye Jab. This says I realized no, it's every everybody else is suffering as well. But when they said everybody else, they meant majority of the people, because there are those few people that Nanak, that when such a parties, when Nanak is okay, cut it hand, that Gurmukh can who jana that there are there are those few that have realized. That aren't lucky, that are always happy, that are always in a nun. Those that are connected to the Guru, though. Give it all so key, man. Jere jitu apna tutte ya, jitu apna aaye ya, apne mool to. If we've connected back to where we've come from, only fe lucky. But baat sachi kende ne, we muk hoy Ram de lagdam jam jo. But jere jere tutte ke ne jitu apna aaye ya. Those that are disconnected from where we have come from. Even all the dukhi, so good six pairs are coming back. So for us, that time of blossom, that time of happiness, is only when when we realize why we need to be inside. How do we realize that? Then we have to go to our guru. We have to follow our guru's way of life. That upadesh, that teaching, that sikhya, our guru will give to us if we walk upon that sikhya. If we walk upon that teaching that our guru gives. Then we'll realize that why it is there. Then there will be the sun. There will be that, that time of blossom inside of us. So now, just going back to this word, holy. So from holy, Sadhguru made holy. They said everybody else is going to be celebrating, so they needed something to celebrate as well. So they're thinking now it's the it's the time of the new um, uh, season. That new season is when, when you do the Fagdar Dhami Nanda, the month that Sadhguruji calls Fadhgur Anandu Upadana, Pargata is when Satya Fadhguruji Maaf Nanda, when Fadhguruji, Guru Ajahn Devji Fadhguruji calls it Fadhgur, but the month is actually called Fagdar. When it's Purnamashi, when it's the full moon of Fagdar, that's when the season starts of the sun, of spring. But Guru Guru, then what they did was then they found a story to follow on that day as well to celebrate, and that story they called it Holi, which came from the word Holika. Who is Holika? We don't need to go outside to find out about this. We can stay within our house. We can ask this story from Pai Gurdasji. Pai Gurdasji will tell us this beautiful story, and we can get so much teachings out of this story. So the word holy comes from the word holy guy. It's a name, but this story, like I said, we don't have to go outside to search the story. By Gurdasji will tell us about the story. By Gurdasji will say to us, they'll start explaining the story. They'll say, "Kala har naak se saayat de, kallar kabar pabit prahlaad." It's the story of pabit prahlaad. This beautiful innocent child, prahlaad, is about five years old. Some people say seven years old when this happened. Anyway, anything between five and seven years old, very young, very innocent, an innocent child. So this is the story of Prahlad. But who's going to tell us this story? Pai Gurdasji. Who is Pai Gurdasji? Pai Gurdasji is the nephew of Guru Amar Das. So is everybody going to remember that now? The kids that sit here. Who is Pai Gurdasji, the nephew of? Of which Guru? Of Guru? Amar Das Ji. Okay, everyone say that confidently now. Of which Guru? Amar Das Ji. Okay, excellent. My Guru Das Ji's father's name was Ishar Das. Okay, nephew means that Guru Amar Das Ji's brother's son. My Guru Das Ji. Okay, my Guru Das Ji is going to tell us this story of Pagal Prahlad. We're talking about this weird holy. They say Kala Har Naak is a dying today. They said he was born in a demon's house. And Pai Gurdasji, can you even imagine this? This child, this beautiful child, which Guru Sahib Ji referred to as a pagan, as a devotee, of a lover of God, he is born in a demon's house. And the way Pai Gurdasji described this is very beautiful. They said, "Dalal, Dalal Pagan Prahlad." Dalal means a barren piece of land. If you imagine a piece of land that is totally waste, nothing can grow on that land. They referring to that big waste piece of land. That no crops, nothing can grow. They refer to that, to that ground as as Haranakas, the father of Prahlad, that demon, that dad. Dad means demon. They say, can you imagine this land? 
that can grow no crops. It says even that ground grew something beautiful as a lotus flower. Who is that lotus flower? That lotus flower is Prahlad, Pagat Prahlad Ji. A beautiful Pagat like Pagat Prahlad Ji came into the house of a demon. So, can you get a good touch? Can you get a car and a knock? So, then they can let a cover of Pagat Prahlad. Paran Pataya, Chart Sal, Chart Sal is like a school. So, Chart Sal is like a school, Prasik Piaru. The Kanak can a Paran Pataya. Can he was then sent to a school? Five, six years old. Some of you here that sit here might be about six years old, seven years old. So now, Parhila, he's very different when he was young. He wasn't like the normal children. When his mother was expecting him, when Parhila was still in the stomach of his mother, his mother was going to be kidnapped by Indra Devta, by this demigod. She was about to be kidnapped. The wife of Nanakas was going to be kidnapped by Indra Devta, but on the way, she was saved by Narada Muni. Narada Muni, he was this great saint. He used to laugh all the time, but whilst he was laughing, he used to teach people very nice and good things. And he took Nanakas' wife, Narada Muni did, and Othe O Katha Sanandala Si Ramadi Katha Dita. And he only used to say one thing all the time. If you're going to recite anyone's name, only recite Ram's name. Ram meaning that Wahidu that is absorbed in everything. How can we understand that, that just like that Wahidu is absorbed everywhere? We can use an example. Imagine if you've got a glass of water. But before you put that water into that glass, you put Raibine into it. And then you put the water into that glass. So now, that Raibina goes into all the water. All that water is red. That, water, that Raibina is absorbed into all the water. Have you seen that happening yet? When you get some time, when you get some Raibina, then you put the water into it. And the water is clear, but then it changes color. It adapts the color of the Raibina. It changes color, it goes all red and burgundy. It's absorbed, the Raibina is absorbed into the water. Just like that, that's what Ram means. Rama means Ramme Ahoya. That Vahiguruji, that is Ramme absorbed into its creation. Just like that Vahiguruji into that water, Vahiguruji is absorbed into everything. Narada Muni always used to say, if you want to recite God's name, then recite that God's name, that Ram's name that is everywhere, that is absorbed into, into its creation. And whilst the Ram was in the stomach, in the womb of his mother, he was listening to all of this. He's a very special child. So when that child was born, the Hadad, he remembered all these things that Nad Muni used to say. So he took Nad Muni as his guru. So he thought of Nad Muni as his guru. And he remembered that if I'm going to recite anyone's name, that I'm going to recite whose name? Ram's name. And who is Ram? What's another word for Ram? How, what word do we use to recite what do, what do we say? Vahe? What do we say, Vahe? Okay, everyone say Vahe? Vahe? Okay, so we say Vahe Guru, okay? So let's all say it for a few minutes, for a few minutes, okay? I'll say it first and everyone say it after. Vahe Guru meditation. When you did lots of meditation, 
He made one Devta very happy, this Demaika. He made this Demaika, this deity, very happy called Brahma, which is people that call him the creative power. So Brahma came and said to Hanakas, you've done so much hard meditation. You've sat here for so long. Ask for anything. And he said, you know, because actually I will ask for something. He said, I asked for that no man or no woman can kill me. Because I asked for that I will not die in the day. I will not die when it's night. I don't want to die inside and I don't want to die outside. I don't want to be killed by any weapons. He's asked for all these things. And Brahma said, no problem. O Harnakesh, I will give you these things. All these things you have asked for, I will give you them. And guess what Harnakesh started to think? <laughs> he said that now nobody can ever kill me. So he said, if I can't be killed, he said that I am the same as? He said I am the same as? God. Do you think he's the same as God? No. But he started to think. He said, well now, nothing can kill me, not a man, no weapon, not when it's day, not when it's night, not inside, not outside, so I am the same as God. So he started to then by force, he started to say to the people, the area where he used to rule, because he was a king, he'd say, I want you to say, Jale Haranakas, that Haranakas is in the water. Haranakas, this demon, was Haranakas in the water? No, who was in the water though? Sorry? Hanji. Even Guru Gobind Singh he said, this is Jale Hari, Thale Hari, Hari is Vaiguruji. He says, Vaiguruji is in the water. Jatan Mahir Puya, Rabya, Vitvana Guru, Ardhid Devi Pachiji saying that Vaiguruji is in the water, not Haranakas. And he said to people, this is what I want you to say. He said, I want you to meditate on my name, on Haranakas's name. But his own son, what was his own son saying? He was saying, Ram. Ram, but he was referring to the same Rama as we call Vaheguru. So now there's a little problem, isn't there? <coughs> so Haranaka said, take my son to school. There's two great teachers of that. He's a king, he can have any teachers. So he got the best teachers of that time. And their names, Gurbani refers to them as Sunday and Marka. Okay? But then in their history, Marka, the name comes up as Amarka. His name comes up as a mud. He said, what you need to teach my son? You need to teach my son to meditate on his father's name, on Haranakash's name. Not on this Ram that he always goes on about. So what happened? Then Padan Pataya, Chaat Sal is like a religious school. So his son goes. So now Pavit Prahalad Ji, remember this name Prahalad. Prahalad goes to the school, Padan Pataya, Paat Saat, Pandey Chit Hua, Prahalad. Pandey are these teachers, the Brahmin teachers. So now these teachers, they're very happy in their minds. Why do you think they're happy? Because they're getting to teach their king's son. They're going to get some, a lot of money for this, aren't they? If they're teaching the son of the king, if they're teaching the king of the son, they're going to get paid very well for this. But then what happens next? Simre Manvich Ramana Gave Sabad Anahad Nad and then they're trying to teach him what? To meditate on his dad's name. Now Pabit Prahalati, this little five to seven year old child, comes to school, they're saying, meditate on Haranakas, write Haranakas' name down. But what is Pabit Prahalati doing? Simre, Manit, Ram, Ram. Who can tell me here, what does the word Simran mean? Simre. What does Simran mean? Who can tell me what Simran means? And some people might find it odd. They're thinking, why are we asking questions whilst Guru Granth Sahib is here? Are we allowed to do this? Let's ask Pai Gurdas Ji. Who is Pai Gurdas Ji? The nephew of which Guru? Guru Excellent. Pai Gurdas Ji will tell us what used to happen. Pai Gurdas Ji says, Bani Mukho Uchariye. Bani Mukho Uchariye. The Guru Nanak Devi Pachi Ji used to recite Bani. And then what is the Hoi Roshanai? And then loads of light used to spread. All the darkness used to go from inside of us, that darkness that is inside of us. Gyan, Gort, Charcha, Sada. Gyan, you know the wisdom, you know the knowledge what we're learning from this? Gyan, Gort, what used to happen? Gort, Charcha. Do you know what Gort and Charcha is? Charcha means to have a two-way conversation. They used to discuss what they were learning. 
Guru Nanak Dev Ji used to recite Bani. Guru Nanak Dev Ji used to pass, he used to do Katha. But if someone didn't understand, they didn't just go home. What used to happen in the Guru's house? Gyan, Ghost, Charcha, Sada. That's what used to happen. They used to have an opportunity to ask questions if they didn't understand something. Okay? So that's what used to happen. What does the word similar mean? Who's going to tell me? One of the children. Put your hands up. What does the word similar mean? Anybody here? Anybody sitting here? Who's going to shout it out? Come on. Meditate. Meditate. Anything else? Okay. You know the word similar? So these things, they're not going to be wrong because they all add towards that. It's not really one of them that it's a right or wrong answer. But there's a literal meaning as well. A literal meaning. Either akri atikiya, similar, similar. So not any of the grantees or the gyanis because they obviously they know somebody else. Somebody else will have it. Go one more, one more try, and then we'll carry on. Somebody from that side. Benji in the what in the black vodka. So the word similar or similar. What does it mean to similar? If I was to say to you, Benji, similar something. What does that mean? Reciting God's name. Okay. Let's now learn what it means literally. Shall I become one more person? I see Baji, Baji there, the black gold star that comes to West Bromwich Gatas as well. Baji, the word similar, the literal meaning, what do you think it means? Hanji. Okay, we'll translate it in two languages. First language we'll translate it in is in English. Very simple. Gyaniji just said it. Of course, like I said, the Gyanijis have to know it. If the Gyanijis don't know it, then we're in trouble. Okay, I'm so glad that Gyaniji got it right. Gyaniji so much more learned than me. I've seen Gyaniji for the last 10, about 15 years of my life. Whenever I used to go to Rampuri Gurdwara, Gyaniji used to be reading the part there, and I used to be mesmerized that Gyaniji has got such a beautiful voice. I used to love listening to their goodbye. Similar means to remember. Very simple. Don't forget this. Everybody remember this, because there's a lot of confusion about this word. Very simple. In Punjabi, to remember. Don't get it complicated, don't get it confused fast. To remember. Japana, now Japanda Atkiya. Japanda Atya to recite. To make an effort to say something. Okay? And then what is job? The job is something that happens itself in like effortless. So you make an effort. So when, let's make an effort first. Somebody did the bacha on the jini gada. So you make the bacha say, you're making the bacha practice something first. Oh, look at the japana to recite. So you say to the bacha, say wahiguru. Fiyo kende wahiguru. Rasna naam japa ho tab matiye. Enri da amrita paavo. Rasna de naam japana hai. Kehi ta aja ho vi nena. Some people today, jade para neki gayo kende. So those people that today say that we don't need to repeat Vahiguru, 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 Vahiguru again and again. So be careful of these things. There's people nowadays that say things like that. Be aware of it. So yes, the japana make an effort, say his name, say why you his name. Jab is when it becomes effortless. Inna japayamun, patayin nagadamun, ajapa jab na visre. Ke andro api wahi guru, wahi guru chalpe. Itself is happening. And then simran is a state of mind. Simran avasthaya. Tanhun ko shkair di ni lor. You don't need to say nothing. But hun wahi guru di di yaad andar vasike. When you're forever living in remembrance of Vaheguruji, when you're always present to Vaheguruji, when you're always conscious of Vaheguruji, how will we know? Nishani Giyya. Apa ka pangiti parde. Let's say a pangiti. Sagara Tarana Mahe Sresh Tarana Harko Naam Japa. So, I don't know what I'm saying. Harko Naam Japa. How will we know that somebody is dropping Vaiguruji's name? 
How do we know somebody is forever remembering why you? How do we know? What's the next thing that comes from this? Harko naam jab? Did everyone hear that? What's the next thing? Nirmal karam. What does the word nirmal mean? The word nirmal means, it comes from the word man, man, dirt, nir, nir negates the word, makes it the opposite. Nirmal means immaculate, pure. When somebody's actions become pure. That's when you will know that somebody is remembering why you feel for that. Look on it. Okay, it's similar to the area. You know, because they can and they're more to get what to put on the Google. Okay, it's similar to the area. If I do the number job, but I am in a board of money with a car 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 here. If they're not for a board of the city, you want me to have a little up here. If they're not to put a board of the city. ये होनता सच बोलने में आप यार ये पहला निंदिया चुगली करता सी पर वो ना उस काल पर किसी से तक करना आप यार ये ना मतलब यार ये होने सिमरन कर दे ये वाइफ मुझे ना याद रख दे ने ठीक है ना वो ना ऐसे क्या यार दे ना छोड़ ठीक पर पहला जीना ना आप जिन्हें दरगाह से कर सके इस दिन उस लॉन्ग साइड आप � बात पता कर पर है लाल जी वो नहीं हटे वो क्या कहने कहने से मेरे मान में जो राम ना ना only inside was remembering why you did but what did he start to do out loud in the class look how brave he was look how brave this child was out गावे सबद अनाहद वो बहुत सुनी तो नहीं बच्चों के तो beautiful in a beautiful tune out loud he said राम just like he said वाहे Teachers are figure, figure out that they, now the teachers are worried. They're thinking the demon, the king, they're gonna tell me off. They're gonna tell the teachers off. We wasn't able to do our job. So kids, how what can you learn from this? It means for you, and not for just the kids, for everyone. It means even love to sit there, upper guru, upper guru, sort of push the suga. But sometimes, koi upper no over me, to eat to hard get to our car. पर नहीं वो सिर्फ पैरों पर प्रहलाद को नहीं सिखिया नहीं है वो नहीं हटे आ साथ तो ही जन कम हो गए हाँ जब अपना गुरु कहोगा के साथ बोल लो तो जब वो उसे बात जाऊँगे तो अपनों को कहोगा के नहीं साथ बोल के आजकल थोड़ो साथ आया आजकल तू उठने दे नाल दाल पाम या आजकल कितने चार्जे बिजनेस साथ चूट बोल के मेरी बिजनेस चलूँगा अमृत का आदि भी कई आदि का लेता कहते हैं मैं नूरी कहते रहे मेरा भी आप का बिजनेस होता है कई तो कहते कहते कितने चलता है यार कितने तू प्रॉफिट बनाऊँगे जैसे सारे मुद्दे से मुद्दे सुधा तू मार के नहीं रहा यू एंड मेरे को प्रॉफिट भी चाहो भी पुलाव सुधा के मटेरियल when somebody is telling you and teaching you what Guruji tells us, and then if somebody else, if one of your friends at school says to you, no, it's okay. Everybody lies nowadays. What are you going to do? Are you going to listen to your friend and start lying? Or are you going to say, no, my Guru said, I'm going to tell the truth. What are you going to do at that moment? You're going to do a task and say, Guruji, give me strength to keep speaking the truth. Okay, that's what we're going to learn from Prahalad here. This is how we are going to celebrate Holla Mahalla. We're going to take, take as many teachings as we can from this, okay? So now, just finishing off, it says, Bhagat Karna Sab Chaatada Paande Hoye Rehe Vismad But Bhagat Prahalad was able to do something amazing. Guess what he did? All the other kids that were at school with him, guess what he got them to say as well? Guess what they were singing? They were singing what now? The same as Parhilal. Parhilal was singing Ram, so the rest of the kids started singing Ram as well. He changed all the other kids as well. Pagat Karan, Sama Chartered, Chartered means students. Everybody outside doing the same as Parhilal. Pande Hoye Rehe Vismad. And guess what happened to the teachers? Pande means the teachers. Vismad. Vismad here means they were shocked. Okay, Vismad also means to be old, to be wonderstruck. 
They were in shock. That's why I've got a picture of the boy with his hands like this. From, uh, where is he from? Home oh, Okay. They were just, they, the teachers were like, they were like, oh my. They were thinking, well, I was supposed to change the Hilal to start saying his dad's name. He now has changed all the other kids. So what can we learn from this? So try and influence other people to start speaking the truth with us, okay? Not that we change and become like them and start lying. Let's try and influence other people to what we are doing. Isn't this amazing how much we're learning from this? And then, what happened next? Radhe passed the wire. So the teachers got worried. They were running. They were running to the Radha, to the demon, to the Narcus. Because just in case he found out that they failed, they thought, let's, let's go and tell him first. So they went running, and this is Doki Gang of the Ayabad. Or Radhe, they went to tell her after they goes, your son's way out of control. He doesn't listen to anything we say. He keeps saying Wahidu's name. He's out of control. Some people will say that to us today as well. You know when we start walking the path of truth? People will say to us, There's plenty of people that will say things like this to us. But be careful. Be like the Hilal. Okay? Be strong. Okay? Be strong like the Hilal. This is for the adults as well, by the way. But I'm talking on the kids level because we've got a few kids here. So now, coming back, Radhe passed the wire. The wire means they went and complained to the king. And then he says, But what, how did the king respond? He says, Doki Dad. He didn't even care that it was his own son. Doki Dad is a criminal. Dad is demon of a die. Well, he took it out of proportion, out of control completely. What did he do instead? Jala Agni Vichita Deya. Guess what he tried to do to his own son? He tried to kill his own son. He said, if you're not going to say my name, because then, because I'm going to kill you. Kids, this happens today as well sometimes. Not that our kids, not our parents are ready to kill us. But we find this in camps all the time. Once, I was at a camp. There was a boy at a camp. He started crying. He was 10 years old. And we said to him, what's happened to you? But does he does this out of that? He said, what's happened to you? The kid said to us, I'm going to keep my case. He said, oh, that's great. And he said, no, it's not. And I said, he said, oh, why? He said, because my mom won't let me. My mom said, if I grow my case, she's going to by force cut my hair. He said, oh, my mom won't let me. I said, oh, my mom won't let me. I said, oh, my mom won't let me. Why not? Why not? ਦੂਸਰੇ we think that Harnakas was all those hundreds of thousands of years ago. There are those type of demons in our own houses today sometimes when our own mothers take the scissors and cut their children's hair. It happens today as well. So Gursikriyayo, be careful and children, be strong. Do a das and ask Guruji to protect you if your parents don't understand sometimes, okay? Don't be horrible to your parents. Don't talk back to your parents. Do a das. Talk to someone older, the Gosiks, the Grantis, the Gyanis, okay? And then, what did he do? He said, oh, I'm going to get rid of him. He tried to drown him. First of all, first thing is what he did. He closed him into this little prison and he sent snakes there. After he died, sat there, crossed his legs, Closed his eyes and he said, Ram, Ram. And then snakes came and bound him. And they said, All right, let's try something else. They sent him into a jungle. 
And they set lions free, they set tigers free to go and eat him. Even the tigers, they went and lie down by him. And they started to lick him and love him. And they said, oh my God, what's happening? Then they tied him to a, to a stone and then they threw him in the water that he drowns. And then they said, all right, now it's worked. And then they, 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 they had this little boat and then they, they got their boat, turned around and went off the other way. What did they see? They see this big fish. They turn around and this big fish gets to sitting on that big fish. But with Bernard. A fish went and saved Bernard. They said, all right, now we try to drown him. Then they got on top of this mountain. They threw him off a mountain. When they threw him off a mountain, he landed on the floor in crossed leg position without any scratches. Then, then they said, all right, next time burn him. He said, how is he going to get out of fire? Guess how to try to burn him. This is now where the word holy comes from. From the word holy God. His poor's name is holy God. His dad's sister, she was very evil as well. She had a boon as well. She had, she had a special blanket. And they said that blanket can't burn no matter what. So her brother said to her, you take your nephew and you put your nephew in your laps, we'll set fire around you, you put the blanket over you because you won't burn, but her, but then the Hilal will burn. And guess what happened? They sat, then with their wind, the blanket flew off, went on to the Hilal, the Hilal was saved, and his Bua, and a um, holy God, she was burnt to bits. This is where this word holy, holy comes from, from holy God. They then decided this Pasant, the day of this spring of blossoming, they decided to celebrate this day, that that day that Bhagavad was saved, that Bhagavad Ji was saved, and then that holy God was trying to be evil, that she was burnt to ashes. So they celebrate this day called Holy. They remember where holy God was burnt and Bhagavad Ji was saved. Okay? And that's why Guru Granth Sahib Bhagavad Ji said as well, Bhagavadi Sadatu Rakta Haraji. Okay? You've always saved your devotees. So why would Ji will always look after you if you mention why Guruji's name? And then what happened? That Jal Agni Vitakatya, Jalena Dube, Guru Prasad, nothing was able to destroy him. And then what did Harnakas do next? He got a big sword out, then Kan Khalid Sad Pachya, he said to Prahlad, he got a big sword out, he said to his son Prahlad, he says, Kaun so tera hai ustad. He said, Who is your star? Who is your guru? Who's gonna come and save you now? You've had it now. I've got a sword in my hand, and now this is it. It's all over for you now. But then what happened? Tam par parjatya na se roop anup anad. But then from a pillar, because he was gonna tie Prahlad to this pillar. From that pillar, ripped off to this pillar, came somebody called Narsen. It was a half lion and a half man. So remember he said that, uh, that no man can kill me, no woman can kill me. This person that has come, neither is it a man, neither is it a woman. It's not nothing, none of these. It's half lion, half man. And then you know what time it was well? It wasn't night, it wasn't day, it was right in the middle of what we call Sunday. When the two times are meeting, right in the middle of the time of the two times of night and day. So it wasn't night or day. Remember he said, not when not in the night time, not in the daytime, no one can kill me. It was a night or day then. If they said not in the not inside, not outside, then nothing, this was the form. Why did he took form? stood in the middle, in the doorway. So they went outside, they went inside, right in the middle. And, and then they said with no weapon, then Nasim didn't use any weapon, he used his own nails, took Harnakash, put him on his lap, because he said, I don't want to, nobody can kill me when I'm on the ground or in the sky. Neither was he in the ground, neither was he in the sky. He's right in the middle. He put him on his lap and scratched him and ripped him open. And he destroyed Harnakash, this demon. And this way, the Hilal was saved, his honor was saved. Look how many things we can learn, can take from the Hilal. See how many things we learn from him today? To remain strong, okay? So then, Bermuka Bakar Pashare, Sant Sai, Aad Jugad, Jaya Kar, Karna Brahmad. So, Guru Sikh Piyayuf, but what was done instead on this day? 
instead on other people on these days people are getting these colors getting dry colors putting these dry powders on each other and getting these wet powders as well and people are drinking bong drinking these alcoholic drinks and they're dancing around and they're doing naughty things they're doing, getting up to all sorts but now but not our guru guruji said powder bong khadri mera ji they said have that don't drink this bong don't drink this marijuana don't drink these things like that they said live in the fear of god if you live in the fear of god that will be a buzz in itself that's how you will get by in life man divana pe aati the i'm going to skip some of that just to say how guru gobind singh ji party to celebrate guru gobind singh ji party to celebrate by doing it is mock um they did battles so guru gobind singh ji party to get together make form two armies instead guru gobind singh ji party to color their seek not with these outside colors but instead with the color of with the love of god that dal ram ke se bol gaya is ke par paaka mera kade na ho bhi nahi lage taaka ya people were color in the love of god instead guru saab ji said remain separate jabla khalsa rehne wala tabla de tej ki ho main sara jab hai ke vibhar ki reet main na karu inki pradeep guru saab ji say that remain separate don't follow the world and if you don't follow the world if you remain just stay great remain separate that don't think that now maybe i'm starting to look odd because i'm starting to grow a body because i'm starting to keep up the star now no let guru gobind singh have faith in guru gobind singh ji and guru gobind singh ji party will give you guru gobind singh ji's own radiance imagine how much guru gobind singh ji used to shine imagine how beautiful guru gobind singh ji party was imagine how powerful guru gobind singh ji is Guru Gobind Singh ji said if you remain separate from the rest of the world if you don't lie if you don't slander if you don't cheat if you don't hurt people if you remain separate from the rest of the world have a beautiful flowing beard wear beautiful the star be wear is beautiful the car don't don't worry about what the world says don't worry about if you think you don't look good Guru Gobind Singh ji party says you can I can have all my shine you can have all my power do you think there's anyone more power more powerful than Guru Gobind Singh ji Do you think there's any more more power than Guru Gobind Singh? Do you think? No, I don't think so. For me, Guru Gobind Singh is the most powerful, the most powerful of all. Samrat Guru, Sirhat Tarjo, the most powerful Guru, Samrat Guru. So I know that if I want that much power, then I need to remain separate from the rest of the, the rest of the world that might like. The rest of the world might look a particular way. might design their hair cut their hair and do all sorts that to themselves might design their eyebrows in a certain way but i don't care cuz i trust my guru if i don't follow them and i follow my guru guru's going to give me his shine guru's going to give me his power i want my guru's power not the world's power no power is equivalent to guru's power so guru sikh pyaru guru sahib ji created a separate day where guru sahib ji used to make people do horse riding used to instead make them have these mock battles and do all, all these type of things read loads of gurbani and so guru sikh pyaro for us we're not going to follow the world's way and we got we're going to do an attack as well because that's what remember that's what holda means holda means attack we're going to attack on these days what are we going to attack what place are we going to attack that place inside of us that has become evil that place inside of us that is filled with evil and negative thoughts that is maybe thinking my mind my mind is going to the baby alcohol my mind is maybe going towards looking upon the beauty of another we're going to attack those inside of us by the guru shabd we're going to take the guru's shabd the guru's teaching that's going to become our weapon with that weapon we're going to attack we're going to attack those evil thoughts inside of us that's how we are going to celebrate holla mahalla so kutni ek beti ek parman ka liya so if anybody doesn't know about our organization rare from an I'm from an organization called basis of sikhi where youtube channel we've got about 700 videos on our youtube channel now and this is on that they're all divided into playlists if you think if you want to learn more about your gurus we've got a list called 12 weeks of gurus you can learn about all your gurus don't get confused that we believe in the 12th guru it just means the 11th week is guru granth sahib in the 12th week means the path calls of bhagwan so you can learn about the gurus if you want to know more about jyoti sahib jyoti sahib is all translated into english so we have about 700 videos if you have any questions there's about 300 questions common questions already answered on our channel 
So subscribe to our channel on YouTube and subscribe to us on follow us on Facebook to know where we are. So um, I know we have got our every Wednesday. It's not a presentation like this. Um, it's a good body katha and it's more freestyle, free flow. Um, going through Shadhar Zarebani at the moment. Every Wednesday, 7 to 8 p.m. at Guru Hagai Gurdwara site in West Bromwich. So that's every um, uh, Saturday, 7 to 8 p.m. And today, Jagrad Singh is actually filling in for me. So it's a weekly. I'm going to go and meet Jagrad Singh now um, at the Gurdwara site. I've got a meeting with a few saints. So, Gurusip Mary, Kni, Bendi, Praman, Kanya. I know I've made many mistakes, I have to make many mistakes, even though I had such a long time, I still managed to rush to try and get through something. So, why do you keep that? Why do you keep that?